another mode talk, but this one will be more of an improvisation about mode 36, which is the group of angels and myself, the angels within me and me in general, the 36 names of us as they relate to topics of moat. So as far as the angels are concerned, moat is, an, is a secular project, although I'm inspired by angels because angels are comforters and, and eventually moat is a comforting project. So what I'm going to do is to list 36 topics and 36 angels that go with those topics. And these will be the kind of foundation almost for, or, or maybe not foundation, but an outline from which moat can build on, uh, from which a conversation uh, of moat might just be able to build. And there's no real, real reason why um, I'm going to read them in this order. The numbers I'm going to say are arbitrary, but these are these. They will fill up the comprehensive 36 um, uh, parts of Moat 36. Um, and by the way, I I have three nicknames. So three of these three of these figures are myself, while the rest of the the 33 are the angels within me. So here I go. <clears throat> uh, number one, Blood Meridian, which is symbolic of um, explosiveness. That's the novel of Cormac McCarthy's, which will be necessary for Moat, as all of these 36 um, parts to Moat 36 are. And it's, in, it's necessary because these are the lists of problems in the book which Moat um, will, uh, will resolve, I believe, <clears throat> when it's built. So with Moat with Blood Meridian go, goes myself, who goes under the name of B'nai Vuba. And um, the next one, number three, Surprise, uh, which symbolizes quickness, is another topic and part of Moat, being that it's a surprise event. Hopefully we can get all of the Moat 254 uh, projects built on 254 counties in Texas one day. So surprise represents quickness and that's the realm of um, Angel Tobespeed. The imagination, number two, uh, is the realm of Angel Libby. Helping, uh, which symbolizes friendliness, is number four. That's the realm of Amy. Nonprofitness or just non-profit organization. That's number five. That's the realm of invisibility, who represents trust here. That's me again. But um, the trust is also the trust fund that no non-profit will have to have set up <clears throat> for the money to be filtered in so that mode can be built. Number six, there's Texas, which symbolizes the scope. That's the range of and the scope of um the area that we are going to be working in. That's the under the realm of Tov Tov Shalom. There's the public, which symbolizes power. That would be with Angel Rosalind, Ro, Rosalinda. And that's number seven. There's new the new change topic of moat. That's number 36, and Angel Marion will be working with that in my mind, and maybe even beyond in other people's angels <clears throat> who might want to help with these angels or their own um, sets of angels of Mode 36 who will be helping them if they're a part of the team. <clears throat> Number 35, Prediction and Experimentation. That's under the realm of Robbie Pop. Number 8, The Community Unfolding. Uh, the community represents unfolding. That's where num Angel Penelope uh, works. Number nine, power, represents a manufacturing. That's under the realm of Diana. Number 11, gardens, uh, the public parks, which represent um, benignity. 
they're benign and Angel Bertha is uh, is in charge of that topic. <clears throat> Angel Donna on number 12 is in charge of inclusiveness and Angel Perak, which means flower, is in charge of the topic of flowers, which represents a giving, number 29. <clears throat> number 16 is Angel Elaine's topic, which represents constructing, which constructing symbolizes a reclaiming. Uh, number 10 is Angel Grouchy's part, uh, where Number 10 is actually moat in general, which symbolizes immensity. Moat stands for the monumental outrageousness around Texas. Number 13 is Ariel's realm, and that is charity, which uh, is symbolic of what is essential. And these, are, these all go together for topics. They're all necessary as a, as kind of a, outline for the mode project. Number 17 is structure, which represents the key, which represents a key, and that's Angel Teresa's realm. Angel Jennifer, number 18, deals with tourism, the topic of tourism, which symbolizes a shaping. Valerie, number 34, Angel Valerie, who works with appearances, uh, the appearance of this event. <clears throat> Number 15 or is Angel or or Tiferetat's part, which is beauty, the topic of beauty, which symbolizes a goodness. Number 14 is Angel Yafa's, and she's in charge of generosity. Number 31 is Angel Yitzhak Kavad's, and she's in charge of logistics. Number 19 is Angel Auras, and she's in charge of fun. Number 33 is <coughs> Angel Kelly's, and she's in charge of money, which symbolizes resolution. Angel Kabbalah for number 20. Her, her part is, is she's in charge of the outcome the outcomes which represent a channeling. Number 30 is Angel Threekbot's uh, part where she's in charge of the hopeful colors or the hopeful colors of moat and hope in general which symbolizes sound and soundness. Number 21 is where Angel Honey <coughs> works and she's in charge of helping the victims, and so the topic is victims, the people who the charities support when moat fi is finished, and the victims represent the lowered in uh, lowered individuals from the rest of us whom we try to bring back to our level. And so number 22 is a better future, and that's Richard's um, realm, Angel Richard Rorty. Number 23 is my realms as my nickname, Silly Billy, and that goes with happiness. Number 24 is Angel Shea's uh, realm, and she's in charge of rewards, which symbolize our best thoughts. Number 25 is Angel Marion's realm, and she's in charge of wonder which represents a disentangling. Number 26 is Angel Marba's work, and her work, she's in charge of a converse, the conversations which happen as a result of moat. Number 27 is Angel Libby's, uh, Angel Lisbeth's realm. She's in charge of understanding, which symbolizes a connecting. Or a connection. Number 32 is Angel Schnuna's realm and she's in charge of the topic of need. The, the reason why we're doing this because people need things. Number 28 is Angel Kathy's realm and she's in charge of the topic of love in general. Love which 
represents animation. And I believe that's all of them. I think I went through all of them. So that's the angels uh, and myself with Moat 36. And um, I want to also add that this isn't a religious project. I say that they're angels <clears throat> because for me they are. <clears throat> but this project is a secular project. And I, they, because I, I think it's important to just note that I will take help wherever I can get it. And it just happens so that I'm getting help from my angels. So that's the, uh, that's the team, myself and these angels, who are working on this moat project through Moat 36. And this is the outline. From here, we can kind of build up upon our vocabulary and conversation topics. But this is just the basic outline of Mode 36 and our jobs.